Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint an authentic looking bronze tombstone plaque using craft letters, Mod Podge, and tissue paper. For this tutorial, I 3D modeled and printed a decorative border, which I've glued to a small quarter inch piece of MDF board as my base. To get started, I'm going to take a sheet of tissue paper and ball it up to get as many wrinkles as possible. Once the tissue paper is thoroughly wrinkled, I'm going to set it aside and start applying a heavy coat of Mod Podge to the MDF surface. Wood glue or white school glue would work in this step too. Once the surface is coated, I'm going to take the wrinkled tissue paper and press it into the wet glue surface, and brush more Mod Podge over the top to help hold the wrinkles in place, being sure to push the paper into the edges of my border. Continue this step until the entire surface is covered and trim off any excess paper as needed before allowing it to dry. With the surface dry, it's time to apply our letters. I know that my letters should be an inch from the lower edge of the plaque and half an inch from the edge, so I've drawn a guideline to help with alignment as I glue each letter in place with CA glue, starting with the first and last letters and working my way toward the center to help get even spacing. Once the letters are secure, I'm going to give the entire piece another coat of Mod Podge to seal it and let it dry. Now it's time to paint our base layer in black acrylic paint. You could also do this step with spray paint. I like using acrylics because they're weatherproof and each layer just adds a bit more protection to the prop. Make sure to get good overall coverage and allow it to dry. With our base paint dry, it's time to accentuate the texture created by the tissue paper. I'm going to do this by dry brushing a mix of gold acrylic paint with a bit of brown and black acrylic paint, starting heavier in the middle and feathering it out as you get towards the edges. When the paint is dry, I'm going to mix brushed antique gold and a brushed bronze metallic paint to highlight the raised letters and plaque edges. This combination of metallics will help simulate the look of aged bronze.
if you wanted to stop here, you could, but I'm going to take it a step further and give it a bit of patina. For the patina, I'm using Folk Art's Patina Colored Acrylic Paint and will thin it with water before spraying it onto the surface and letting it run down the face of the plaque. You can go as heavy or as light as you want in this step, but I find it best to put the piece vertically so that gravity can help create a more organic look. If you find that the paint is pooling in unwanted ways, use the tip of your brush to absorb some of that paint. To help with the realism, I'm going to add in some antique screws in the corner. I like adding real hardware to pieces like this because it's something that helps make the prop look more authentic. If I were to use modern day screws, it just wouldn't look quite the same. Once you're happy with the overall look of the patina and have allowed it time to dry, give it a final coat of Mod Podge Ultra to seal in the paint and you're done. Thanks for watching. If you love Halloween and want to see more tutorials like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the notification bell to be alerted when I put out a new video. And until next time, happy haunting.